Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be looking at another in the uh, MPLS Basics series. And today we're going to take a look at the terminology involved with uh, label switch routers. Okay, before we get into the uh, tangled mess that is the uh, terminology associated with uh, label switch routers, let's go ahead and review the three major MPLS operations, which are push, swap, and pop. With a push, the router is going to receive an unlabeled packet and it's going to have um, a, a label that's assigned to that VEC, that forward equivalence class, which in most cases is just the, uh, the prefix. So it says I know how to reach this prefix, but to do so I'm supposed to use label 16. So I'm going to push label 16 onto the MPLS stack and then I'm going to route it out uh, the interface it's specified in my label forwarding information base or LFIP. Swap is going to be a router that's going to receive a label packet and it's going to say okay well thank you for this packet with a label I have a local uh, label assigned for that uh, FEC and what I'm going to do is swap your label with my label and then route it out the appropriate interface as specified in the LFIP. POP is generally your end of the line um, operation and this is when you, your router receives a packet that has a, a um, label assigned to it but uh, then its job is, that, is to send this out without a label so it, it's going to say okay I've got this um, packet that has a label but according to my LFIB I'm supposed to get rid of this label and send this out untagged or in the case where you're using more than one um, tag in a, in a um, label stack uh, it would just pop the top one. Anyway, so it, it pops off that label, in this case 21, and then sends the packet out um, untagged, unlabeled. Okay, so that's the uh, quick and dirty review for the MPLS operations, their uh, push, swap, pop. Uh, we're just going to need to keep these in mind when we go through the uh, definitions later on. And later on is now. Uh, so let's look at the terminology here. And the first term that we're going to define uh, and you see that mess that's after the uh, switch. That's just to show that I've seen this listed as label switch router, which is the uh, term I'm going to use, label switching router, and label switched router. Uh, I've seen all three versions of this. Basically, it's a device such as a switch or a router that forwards labeled entities, entities being packets, based upon the label value. And I pulled that out, that definition from this URL here that's the Internetworking Technology Handbook that Cisco provides which is actually actually it's actually a really good read um, it's it goes you know not super deep into all the uh, different technologies but it, it's really good for review or to uh, get a quick look at something that you're starting to learn anyways I digress the reason I, I, I did this is because not only are there multiple ways to um, you know conjugate switch for LSR but I, I've also seen multiple definitions for LSR, you know, and, and I'll, I'll hit one of those. That's why this little asterisk is hanging out here. I'll hit that one of those in a second here. Okay, but before I do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the types of LSRs. And the first one we're going to look at here is the ingress LSR. And ingress, you know, as most of you probably know from ingress and egress interfaces, is just a uh, fancy pants way of saying inbound. So, you know, your ingress interface is your inbound interface, egress is your outgoing interface. And basically the uh, ingress um, LSR packets arrive unlabeled, leave labeled. So if we go back to our handy dandy motherfucker, it, Microsoft PowerPoint for whatever reason when I'm recording really doesn't want to change slides, but uh, I guess that's my personal battle. Any. And I was going to say anywho, but I've listened to myself on these stupid recordings, and I say anywho way too often. Anywho, uh, the uh, ingress LSR, it, it corresponds with the push operation. So it's, you know, packets arrive unlabeled, leave labeled. So um, the egress LSR, packets arrive labeled, leave, un leave unlabeled. And if you remember our operations, which one does that sound like? pop that's there that's a better pop so that's your pop operation 
and then intermediate LSRs packets arrive labeled and they leave labeled so going back to this that is our swap operation so really you can look at this you know ingress is your push egress is your pop um, intermediates are your swap and now imposing and disposing LSRs again this is the fancy pants way imposing is a term that's a synonym of push uh, disposing is a synonym of pop and it's just a fancy way of saying push and pop so imposing LSR packets arrive on labeled leave labeled well that's your ingress LSR disposing LSR packets arrive labeled leave unlabeled that's your egress LSR so these are synonyms I mean they're they're interchangeable you're not gonna hear imposing and disposing LSR very often um, just brought it up because it's in the uh, documentation and it, it could appear on your your test or you might hear some jackass in the field try and get all fancy on you by saying oh, am I imposing LSR but just tell them hey dude that's an egress LSR okay next up is the edge LSR and it's kind of a trivial term it's a router at the edge of an MPLS network uh, this is another one you're not going to use all that often um, so on to the three biggies here are the three that you will hear quite often and the first one of those is a provider edge router and uh, that's abbreviated PE or PER and generally you hear it referred to as the PE um, I've heard PER and I've actually used that term quite a bit uh, what's odd is that I've also heard somebody turn that into a word and say the PER as in you know I'm not able to ping your PER or I'm not able to peer with your PER which sounds like a personal problem but the uh, definition it's a provider router at the edge of an MPLS network and it peers with the uh, CE or customer router customer edge router rather um, so this is this is what you're going to connect to if, when, in the enterprise if you're you know your site's going to connect your router is going to connect to a PE and generally you're going to uh, peer with it via BGP uh, I'm gonna skip uh, I'll go right to customer edge router oh, sorry lost my train of thought there and the reason I've got this in a slightly different color is because this router generally is not running MPLS this is your router if it and again in the enterprise if this is your site this is your router that connects to the uh, service provider and it's your customer edge router uh, CE or CER CE is generally used the most and I've heard it as the sir so you got your per and your sir uh, it's the router at the edge of the customer network and it peers with the uh, provider edge router so now this middle one here is our provider router and P router and I haven't heard that refer to anything other than as P router or well you know I have heard core router and I've seen that in some documentation too but I don't have it on this list but keep that in mind it could be re referred to as a core router and this is a provider router which is not a PE it's an intermediate LSR um, and that that's just referring to our definition up here packets arrive labeled leave labeled so I mean provider router which is not a PE really doesn't tell you much what these guys are these are the the routers that are going to be in the middle of your cloud and we'll we'll look at a network diagram in just a minute here but these are the guys that um, they're not connecting to customers they're doing label switching so they're they're the routers that are in the core doing the, that swap operation they're like swap 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 um, uh, like I said these are the three big ones these are the ones that you'll hear uh, you know quite often there's also you know how you have got the PE and the P there's also a C router I I mean that's a trivial definition I mean it, it would be a, a customer router that's not peering with the PE and it, it's generally not going to be running MPLS I suppose it could if your customer edge router is running MPLS but you might see that pop up um, I don't know it's something that's like I said it's trivial uh, 